Welcome to another episode of Virtualize Everything. Today's episode is going to be about increasing your privacy with Unbound. We're going to be adding Unbound to your previously existing Pi-hole install. Pi-hole traditionally works as a filtering DNS relay server. So what happens when you're using your traditional Pi-hole install is you select another server to connect to that will resolve any DNS request that your Pi-hole has not cached. What the addition of Unbound will do to your Pi-hole server is it will cause your Pi-hole server to turn into what is called a recursive DNS server. That means your server will go out and attempt to resolve the IP address of your DNS request using the original zone files and authoritative DNS servers that are available. These are the same servers that services like Google and Cloudflare use to gather the DNS when you request from them. But by not using Cloudflare and Google, you eliminate a middleman that could capture your data. There is a problem and a drawback with recursive DNS servers. They can be used for something called a denial of service amplification attack. This attack could lead your IP address to be banned if it was done using your server. This setup will point you to a location where we can get a configuration file that will allow us to configure Unbound to not be used for a denial of service amplification attack. To install Unbound, we're going to use sudo apt install unbound dash y to configure unbound so that it is not used in a denial of service amplification attack and is appropriately configured for your pi holes to communicate with it for dns resolution we will configure the file using the command above nano etc unbound unbound config d pihole dot config. The correct configuration for this config file can be found at the pihole.net site using the link below. Note this config file is empty when you start the process. You will want to copy the entire contents from the link below and move it into this file. Then we're going to want to test our unbound server to make sure it's working. You can use the command dig pihole.net at localhost p 5335 to test that. The reason the port is no longer 53 is because 53 is the port that your pihole will be communicating for DNS on. So we need to change the port so that Unbound does not use the same port. By configuring your Unbound server to use localhost instead of a separate IP address, we avoid the chances of our server being used for a amplification attack. The last step is going to be to configure the settings in your Pi-hole web interface to use 127.0.0.1 or localhost at port 5335 for its DNS resolution rather than Cloudflare, Google, or any of the other options available. Here is a short video on how to configure your Pi-hole to do this. We enter the IP address of our Pi-hole to get to our web interface like we, you've probably done before and log in. Now we're going to go to settings and we're going to go 
to DNS. Now we're going to check custom one and enter that. And unlike what I just did, you want to deselect the upstream DNS server configuration to make sure that you no longer use that. I hope this video was informative about how to set up upstream and turn your Pi-hole server into a recursive DNS server and add some privacy to your Pi-hole setup. As always, please remember to like, share, and subscribe to help virtualize everything meet its goal of a thousand subscribers. Hitting our goal of a thousand subscribers will mean that Virtualize Everything will start receiving monetization from YouTube. This monetization will allow Virtualize Everything to bring you better content with better equipment and more detailed in-depth DIYs and discussions due to the fact that we will have a budget to purchase better equipment with. As always, I hope you enjoyed this video and have a good night.